trying to give pursuit with Le Grand Fromage and towards the dawn, but sometimes always has made every single yard to this point. College Oak has always been in second and they still hold those positions as they fly the last. Sometimes always over in the lead. College Oak trying to mount a challenge, has just over a length to find, but is staying on strongly. Just a little bit of short of room, sometimes always with now College Oak delivering a sustained challenge on the near side and will get up. College Oak runs down sometimes always in a race and Jack but down towards the last it is 50 ball who's moving a couple of lengths clear now from C not heard and Straw Fan Jack this is the last and over in the lead 50 ball Straw Fan Jack however is trying to throw down a challenge here and 50 ball will have a battle on his hooves with Straw Fan Jack now within half a length and closing all the way to the line Straw Fan Jack coming at 50 ball their heads apart going all the way to the line 50 ball may have just seen off Straw Fan Jack, editor du Geek being joined by Sully Dock on the run towards the final fence and Sully Dock moves alongside, they both see long strides, editor du Geek plunged slightly on landing and Sully Dock is away from the last faster and is now extending the advantage from editor du Geek, Smarty Wild moving through with Republican for third but Sully Dock, the great form of Anthony Honeyball continues, Richie McClure Gold challenging between rivals and Amula Gold is beginning to stay on quite strongly, it is Iblio from Amula Amula Gold and Molyneux at the last. Iblio lands by half a length, but Amula Gold has the momentum and draws to within a neck for Bridget Andrews. Iblio clinging to a narrow lead. Amula Gold heads apart the two head for the line. Iblio, Amula Gold joins him and at the line, Amula Gold, I think, got up to beat Iblio in the final few. Handed at the moment, holding annual Invictus, who's about a length or so down, and Captain Morgs will win for the Albatross Club. Nico de Boyne for Nicky Henderson. Annual Invictus stuck to the task really well in has the advantage and it's still a length back in third place is Scaramanga and Kid Commando's eking out another length at the last, Kid Commando over two lengths clear, Malaya lands on all fours, then Scaramanga from Dear Sire and up towards the line it is Kid Commando who's extending the advantage here, three or four lengths is the gap and Kid Commando a double for Anthony Honeyball, hands of Aidan Coleman, wins by four lengths in the principles, Regal Encore jumps to the lead from Might Bite then towards the inside, ridden strongly is Watmore, who's trying to deliver a challenge. Regal Encore on the outside of Watmore, and these two stretch on from Might Bite, Black Corton, and Military in the last in the Sodexo Gold Cup. Regal Encore and Watmore are locked together. Regal Encore by about a neck or so from Watmore, who's trying hard, but Regal Encore still holds sway on the run up towards the line. What a day for Anthony Honeyball. Not one, not two. The ship has moved through into third. Marble Sands for Graham McPherson. Italian Spirit is now coming hard after the leader, but still has a length and a half to find. It's Marble Sands holding on from Italian Spirit as they run up towards the line. And Marble Sands for Lily Pynchon and Graham McPherson will win the last. Going away at the end from Italian Spirit.